Alright, so in yesterday's video I just talked about how we're releasing a course really soon, like next week. So we're first going to release a beta version that you're going to be able to, if you're one of the lucky ones, get for free. But otherwise we're going to give you a discount so that you can uh, try it out early on. Because we release a beta version first to get feedback from you guys. Uh, and then we're going to add things if stuff is missing. But the whole course is it's pretty amazing actually because it goes through anything from like the starting ground, starting to grade, color theory, those things, as well as like how to work with clients, how I work with for instance Netflix, delivering to them. I mean I've delivered to TV and, and all those things and, and that's a little bit tricky at some times but it's not that hard so I go through those things as well as creating cinematic film looks so it's a good course you should really think about it if you're interested in in color grading especially if you feel like uh, for instance Premiere and Final Cut are a little bit limited just a tiny bit <laughs> very limited to me but anyway let's get on to the episode on how I graded the confused African and if you haven't seen this week's episode check that out as well all right bye 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 second day of grading uh, but it didn't take more than maybe a day in total but second day it's good to actually get some distance and come back to what you do uh, so after a while you kind of get you know all into the material watching the same stuff all the time that it kind of becomes difficult to see what you're doing and all that so I spent some time now developing uh, a grade that I think um, looks good and consistent. I just watched it and saw that there was some stuff that I need to figure out. So it's all about just balancing the look basically in between the images once you've found a look. I can just show you how much noise an image can have and how much cleaning uh, has gone into this image for instance. Okay, so this is one of the worst shots that I have had to deal with uh, and basically uh, you don't want a shot to be this bad this is the final image uh, what I've had to do mainly is clean this image up a lot uh, so try to make it consistent and what I've been going for here with this whole grading look is like a super 16 type of look so kind of grainy, kind of gritty, muted colors, faded blacks, that sort of thing but then, when you look at this original image, uh, you will kind of understand how badly exposed it is. You can see right here, like, there's so much noise in here. Like, you lose all the details because of that. You can't bring out much of this uh, because then you introduce all the, the noise in the shadows. And here, I, I guess this is kind of fine, but it falls apart. Like all of this in the middle falls apart so you have to kind of work with the material like it is you can't work against the camera for instance so let's just look what the uh, these layers do then so first one is like a noise reduction layer so basically if we just pop this up and we just see what the noise reduction does it doesn't seem to be doing much in this area but in this area you can see that it removes a little bit of the noise so let's just see, okay, so here we have the saturation. Saturation is added uh, or removed, I'd say, in this case, because it was uh, like oversaturated. And then the white balance kind of pops all the colors and everything, but it also introduces some contrast here in the shadow area. But if you look at this image, it looks pretty, pretty good, actually. Um, but you have so much noise here, which is ruining the whole thing. So, then I went into the channels to clean that up. That means that I had to reduce a lot of the, the colors uh, just to make it more consistent. Without it, with it, what happens is that you clean up this color mess that is going on here, which will make it all blocky and all that. So, remove some noise in each independent channel and then 
like this contrast node I don't adjust until everything is on so it's uh, it's the last thing I do basically so then I have some sharpness going uh, maybe I can move that a little bit uh, and then you have the look that kind of uh, focuses everything towards uh, this area and then kind of uh, takes away a lot of the noise also because it kind of brings the blacks down a bit and the midtones down Okay, before, after. So what you can clearly see is all this noise going away. And that's partly because you lower the shadows uh, to get it away, but this is like a complete mess, you know, with the noise that you have there. So that can be one image. And this image will decide what look you have to go for in the rest of the material sometimes. Now I like these muted colors and muted uh, faded blacks so for me uh, having an image like this I'm working with it doesn't really affect how I shoot the rest or how I uh, grade the rest okay so <clears throat> that's basically the main issues that I discovered but then uh, when we look at like the grade that I went for uh, when it comes to the grain so this is kind of unsure in terms of him so it's, it's not a really good shot that you have to work with. If you look at before and after, I've sharpened him a little bit. But mainly you can see here, in this area, that you have some noise getting introduced and you have the whiteness has gone down. This is what I think makes the whole Super 16 look. You have... Uh, the noise going on in the highlights here and then you have a pretty clean image in the rest of it but I've also faded the blacks a little bit and all that uh, but the main thing is the grain here so if we just go into the grain node and pop this up you will see like the grain disappear and come and it's also in the highlights that's the like the now this is kind of crushed the highlights so you won't see that much but what is the nicest part of this look I think is these details and probably a lot of people won't even notice but there's a feel of uh, like there's an organic feel to it that I really uh, love and that's being created in all these areas uh, that you have here uh, where you have like the window would look a little bit boring I think without it so uh, I really enjoy those uh, some people won't even notice as I say but I think it looks really good uh, yeah that's basically how I created the look uh, based it on the the noise or the grain that I added but most of the work goes into cleaning the image up and then the look that I used is based on a film look that's embedded in uh, DaVinci Resolve which is this Rec 709 Fujifilm uh, 3513DI D60 but then you know tweaked it you have this curve here that is doing uh, you know a job of not having it be so contrasty so, so this is what the LUT looked like in the beginning before I started out yeah this is what it ended up being Okay, so that was how I graded uh, the Confused African. If you're interested in taking the course for free, you should comment below, add your email, or email us if you're not comfortable adding your email in the comments or whatever. Uh, send us a DM or whatever with your email so that we get it. Uh, and then we're gonna select 10 people who will get to try it for free.